Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. This week is our special Google I.O. edition. And as every year in May, we have a lot to cover, such as 14 things to know for Android developers at I.O., second beta of Android 14, announcement of Studio Bot, what's new in Jetpack, Wear OS updates, Compose for TV, and more. So let's dive right in. At this year's Google I.O., you saw how we are ushering in important AI breakthroughs across Google. For Android developers, we see this technology helping out and saving you time, so you can focus on building engaging user experiences. At I.O., Android announced a number of ways to support you in this mission. Want to know what these are? If so, check out the blog post on 14 things to know for Android developers from Google I.O. Coinciding with Google I.O., we've released the second beta of Android 14, an I.O. sessions covering many of its new features. Beta 2 includes enhancements around camera and media, privacy and security, system UI, and developer productivity. We're also continuing to improve the large screen device experience. Read the full story in our Android Beta 2 blog post. We first announced Android Studio at I.O. 2013 with a promise to deliver a best-in-class IDE for Android developers. 10 years later, this commitment still drives us to deliver new tools and solutions that help teams create amazing app experiences. And with Google's push to unlock the power of AI, Android Studio Hedgehog introduces an AI-powered conversational experience designed to make you more productive. To find out all about this new exciting feature, read the I.O. Studio Bot announcement blog post. Android Jetpack is a key pillar of modern Android development. It is a suite of over 100 libraries, tools, and guidance to help developers follow best practices and write code that works consistently. What's New at Jetpack blog post covers highlights of recent updates in all major areas of Jetpack. Go check it out. As we continue to evolve the Wear OS platform, we're excited to share with you some of the newest features and improvements. Partners like Peloton and Todoist have been building exceptional experiences for Wear OS and seeing the impact on their feature adoption and engagement. Hear directly from Peloton engineers about how they built a differentiated experience for watches with Compose for Wear OS. For all Wear OS updates at I.O., go read the blog post. Over the past year, we've continued to see significant growth for Android TV OS, now with over 150 million monthly active devices. At Google I.O., we've launched the alpha release of Compose for TV, the latest UI framework for developing beautiful apps for Android TV. To learn how to build pixel-perfect living room experiences with Compose for TV, go check out the new blog post. Compose Material 3 version 1.1.0 is out. It includes a number of experimental components promoted to stable, as well as new components you've been asking for, such as bottom sheets, date pickers, search, swipe to dismiss, time pickers, and tooltips. More details can be found in Compose M3 release blog post. For all other Android X releases, take a look at the recent release notes. In redesigning the Android Studio logo, Marie talks about the new Android Studio logo, available with a stable release of Flamingo, and gives an overview of the design journey, from identifying the initial problem to the final outcome. Introducing the Android UI Design Hub brings the ultimate resource for building exceptional user interfaces across all form factors, from sharing takeaways, examples, do's and don'ts, to UI samples and inspiring galleries. In what's new in Android performance at I.O., Ben shares the latest developments in performance, from baseline profiles, tooling improvements within Android Studio, libraries, to how we made the technology work better for you behind the scenes. With more active large screen Android devices each year, it's more important than ever for apps to provide a seamless experience for all. How to optimize your Android app for large screens guides you on do's and don'ts of optimizing your apps for these devices. For a more hands-on way of learning, we have two brand new code labs. In theming and Compose with Material 3, you'll learn how to theme your apps in Jetpack Compose using M3 and the key building blocks, color schemes, typography, and shapes to theme your application in a personalized and accessible way. Building a data layer teaches you how to construct the data layer for a task management app, create data sources for a local database, and a network service, as well as a repository which exposes, updates, and synchronizes data. Continuing with the Google I.O. treats, 
For those of you in a rush, we have three quick one-minute videos that highlight what's new in Android, Google Play, and Android accessibility. You can also watch two interesting case studies to learn from other apps and their engineers, how Dropbox took 40% less time to rebuild a feature with Compose, and how Peloton now works seamlessly across multiple different devices and screen sizes. For all your tooling updates, take a look at what's new in Android Development Tools video and the announcement of StudioBot, the AI-powered coding assistant in Android Studio. To get updates on the latest modern Android development recommendations, check out best practices for saving UI state talk and what's new in Kotlin for Android video. But there's so much more, so make sure to check out the entire Android and Play at I.O. playlist. That's it for this week. With 14 things to know for Android developers at I.O., second beta of Android 14, announcement of StudioBot, what's new in Jetpack, Wear OS updates, Compose for TV, and more. Check back soon for the next update from the Android Developer Universe.